hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be talking about how you can create aws budget for your billing and budgeting information so basically uh, whenever you use aws services there are certain charges that are associated to those services but there are certain services which are free of cost but once you reach a particular threshold those services they also become chargeable so today we'll see how you can make sure that you are not charged for the services or before you have reached a threshold you'll get an alert on your email id that you have reached the threshold and now you should check what action you can take in order to make sure that those services are either not used either they are stopped or terminated or whatever action you would like to take so let's start uh, with how do you create an aws budget so let's search for budgets over here so this is aws budget so you can go to aws budgets and finally so I already created a budget. Uh, let's check how you can create a budget. So in this particular uh, left hand side menu, you can click on budgets. And once you are on this page, you have to click on create budget. And finally, nowadays you can either uh, create a customized budget. So you can select this option for that. And if you want to create a template bu budget, the basic budget, which is a simplified way, uh, which actually gives you automatically everything. So uh, that can be done using this particular use template budget. So uh, let's see uh, if we use this particular way to create a budget alert. So basically, you can create click on user template simplified and it has all the recommended configurations. So you don't have to go and make the configuration. And this is actually a zero spend budget. So you can create a budget that notifies you once your spending exceeds 0.01, okay, which is above the AWS free tier limits. So that is one thing. Then another thing is daily cost budget. So over here you can uh, select, it depends on the monthly cost budget. So let's see if we create a zero spend budget. So it will notify us as soon as there is some expenditure that is being done as soon as there is one some service that is utilizing your uh, that is exceeding your budgets so once you click on that particular thing uh, you can click on create budget so basically over here you have to mention certain email ids um, so you have to give your email id where you will get that particular alert once the threshold has been reached so once you have uh, mentioned the email id over here you can click on create budget so it will actually create a budget so this is the automatic budget that got created and you will be alerted by an email on the email id that you have mentioned while creating this particular budget and uh, you will be getting an email once the threshold has been reached and for that you have set the budget of one dollar so that is how you create a budget and we can also explore how you can create a custom budget so let's go back to create budget button and we can create click on customize and once you click on customize it will take you to next so we'll take this particular option a uh, recommended option once you click on next it will say that there are certain steps which you have to follow that like set your budget configure alerts attach actions so basically you have to give a budget name so let's say we are giving the budget name as custom budget let's keep the period as monthly period and let it be recurring budget and let's say the start month is january 2023 next let's say that the budget scope will keep it for all the services so it will track the cost that is being incurred by any service which you are running and which is not part of your free tire or which has certain cost associated to it and we'll click on next so it says there are some errors and we need to review it so okay so we need to enter a monthly um amount uh, after which it should alert you so let's say if i mention one dollar okay one dollar is a monthly budget after which it will alert me okay and then i'll click on next once i have clicked on next so this is the budgeted amount that i have kept and uh, you click on next again 
So we don't have to attach any actions. That is, action is something that allows you to define and trigger cost-saving responses to reinforce a cost-conscious culture. So we don't have to attach any budget action. We click on next. And finally, we'll create a budget. So we don't have any, uh, let's uh, add an alert to it. So add an alert threshold, we'll click on this. And let's say when 80% of it is being reached, then we want us to get an alert email. So that is what we did over here. We mentioned 80%. And finally, in the email recipients, we can mention the email ID which we want to give. And we'll click on next. So we'll get an email, an alert, whenever uh, the, uh, the threshold has been reached to 80% of the cost that we have defined. Then we'll click on next. Finally, we'll click on create budget. So this will actually create a budget for us. So this is how it looks, the custom budget. So I created a lot of budgets and these are not required. So let's see how can we delete a budget if you are, if you don't require these many budgets. Let's say, so if I go to custom budget and we'll click on actions and we'll click on delete. Okay, so it says, are you sure you want to delete custom budget? You can click on confirm. So it will actually delete your custom budget. Let's say if you want to delete this budget as well. So you can click on actions and you can click on delete and you can click on confirm. So that will delete your um, budget that you have created, name of the budget. So this is how you create a budget in AWS in order to make sure that you get an alert email whenever you have reached a certain threshold while using different services in AWS. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and all the best for your cloud journey. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.